Hello everyone, welcome to the Montana Post-Secondary Educational Opportunities Council Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Sarah and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one, um, this is the final session, but you can watch uh, all of the other presentations uh, recorded and they will be available at strivescan.com backslash Montana virtual. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Flathead Valley Community College. Thank you, Sarah. My name is Cole from Flathead Valley Community College. We are located here in beautiful Northwest Montana. We're home to about 3,700 students, of which about 43% are full-time degree seeking. Uh, this is an aerial shot of our campus, uh, just to give you an idea of what our students experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we're really lucky in Flathead Valley because our faculty have studied, taught, and researched all over the world, and they come to Flathead because they're attracted to the area. Um, and our students have access to them at really small class sizes. The most you'll ever have in one class is 32 students. And I can tell you that rarely happens. We usually sit at about 15 to 18 students. Uh, we also have really robust student services here on campus. We've got free mental health counseling, free tutoring, free career and apprenticeship advice um, and trio benefits for all our first time college students, those with documented disabilities or those with a demonstrated need. We also have lots of inclusive clubs on campus to help students stay involved and stay healthy. This photo right here I really like because it really demonstrates what life is like on campus. Uh, we've got really robust student clubs and students are always welcome to start their own should there not be one that meets their interest. Uh, campus recreation, we have a bunch of intramural sports. This spring we are opening our brand new college center. It's gonna be home to a thousand seat auditorium a two court gymnasium, weight room, fitness center, and an outdoor amphitheater to meet the uh, to meet student and community needs on campus. Outside of campus, we're about 30 miles from Glacier National Park, 14 miles from Flathead Lake, um, crystal clear water. And so life is life is good at FBCC. Uh, our only competitive start sport is the nationally recognized logger sports team. Um, on campus, we've got 32 uh, applied associate programs. So those are two-year programs designed to get you into the workforce. We also have 26 certificate tracks. Those are a little bit shorter programs um, can help with recredentialing, um, getting you immediately into the workforce. And then um, we also do pretty much unlimited transfer type programs. So students pick their path, they start with us, and they can go anywhere. Our academic advisors are really experienced in helping students transfer. And we also have many articulation agreements with uh, Montana four-year universities, as well as some out-of-state universities. Uh, we have an honors program on campus. Uh, should students be interested? This, uh, this program combines two usually dissimilar disciplines and mashes them into one course, taught by a team of two instructors. Uh, there's some scholarship money for participating in that program. This is our student housing building. On campus, we don't have dorms, we have apartments. Uh, we've got singles and doubles. The doubles, each person has their own private bedroom and they share living spaces. Uh, we also have a cafe on campus that cooks as much as possible with the ingredients we produce right here on our campus farm. And we have a coffee shop in the uh, library for all your specialty coffee needs. More student life pictures. Um, we are having some days coming up. They should pop up here in a minute. Um, these are experienced FVCC days, Friday, November 12th and Friday, April 8th. It's a great opportunity for students to come to campus, meet with faculty, speak with an advisor, serve you lunch too, lunch is on me. Um, and you can sign up with that at that link below, fbcc.edu forward slash experience FBCC. Uh, if you're not interested in coming as a group, you can take a virtual tour anytime, 360 degree at fbcc.edu slash visit. You can also contact me anytime if you'd like to set up an individual private tour. Um, Junior, senior, sophomores, did you know you could get six free credits, uh, college credits before you even leave high school? Uh, that's through our Running Start program. Um, sign up online at that link. And seniors, it's not too late. You can still join our spring semester and get six free credits uh, before you enter college full time. Uh, so let's talk costs. Our industry tuition sits at $5,286 per year. Out of district is $6,714 per year. Our foundation gives away over a million dollars in scholarships every year, and that's one application to apply to all of those. 
Uh, additionally, the top 10% from of uh, students from five of the Lincoln counties, uh, they may be eligible for a two year, uh, two semester tuition waiver, excuse me. And then every student that does 30 credits with us at a three and a half GPA or higher uh, may also qualify for a two semester tuition scholarship. You can stack those so you can potentially make all two years with us tuition free. Uh, so what does the admissions process look like? You can apply to us anytime. It's free. Go to our website, fbcc.edu forward slash apply, submit your application, and then be sure to submit your FAFSA to us by December 1st. Our housing, should you be interested, opens in January. That application, you need to do that application and turn in your $200 security deposit in order to be placed on the waiting list. Uh, we don't guarantee any housing, but I can tell you if you make that deposit and do that application right away in January, uh, you should be set for housing in the fall. Uh, if you're interested in a comprehensive list of our programs, fbcc.edu forward slash degrees, um, we have that list located here. Again, my name is Cole Dykeiser, and I'm the student recruit, recruitment coordinator here on campus. I'll pop my contact information in the chat and be there to answer any questions that you have. You can also check out fbcc.edu forward slash my dash future for more information. And back to you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Salish Kootenai College. College. Hi, my name is Juan Perez, and I'm the director of Salish Kootenai College, uh, and I'm going to, can, okay, can you see my screen there? Yes, looks great. Okay, so Salish Kootenai College is located in western Montana on the Flathead Reservation. Uh, we are right in the middle of Missoula in Kalispell, so we're about 60 miles uh, north of Missoula, Missoula, 60 miles north of Kalispell. Uh, our college was established in 1977. We offer uh, 22 bachelor's degrees. Uh, we offer 22 associate's degrees, uh, 14 certificates, uh, and one master's degree. Uh, this year, this fall, actually was our first class for our master's in natural resource management. And we have just recently uh, been approved for a master's in the education program. So we will be offering next year two master's degrees here at SKC. Uh, a couple of our more, more popular programs, tribal historic preservation. Uh, and it's the tribal historic preservation is uh, the only one of its kind in the US. There are other uh, preservation programs, but ours is specific to native historic preservation. Uh, we do have a nursing program. It's, we call it a direct admit, uh, bachelor's of science. And so students, instead of taking a year of prerequis prerequisites, they uh, actually apply for the nursing school, get accepted into the nursing school, and all their prereqs are built into that four years so they're not having to take an extra year uh, to, to graduate from nursing. Uh, we have a hydrology program and we're the only tribal college. There's uh, about 34 tribal colleges throughout the country. We are the only tribal college with a four-year bachelor's program in hydrology. And uh, geoscience is, is pretty important to us here at the college. We have a lot of other natural resource programs, uh, forestry, uh, wildlife and fisheries, uh, life sciences. So we, we do a lot, a lot of science classes here, a lot of uh, research here at SKC. Uh, we do have an associate's and a bachelor's in business, uh, psychology, uh, elementary education, uh, early childhood education. We do uh, offer secondary science uh, in mathematics. And uh, so if you want to be a high school math teacher, uh, we offer that here at the college. So education, kind of a wide range of education programs here at the college. Uh, SKC is accredited by the Northwest Commission on Colleges and Universities. So our credits will transfer out to other uh, colleges as well as other college credits do transfer here to SKC. So you know, we just work with the, the school that the student's coming from or the school that the student is going to We'll work with them uh, and uh, hopefully we can prevent as much credit loss as possible for our students here. 
um, student life. Uh, so I have an image of our gymnasium. We do play uh, some college basketball here. We're not like a lot of the mainstream colleges where we, we are part of an association. Uh, we play as an independent school. And so we've played a lot of the smaller Montana schools, uh, the frontier schools here in, in Montana. Uh, we traveled to Idaho, Washington. We've traveled to the Dakotas uh, to play other teams as well. So uh, we, we do have men's and women's basketball. And right now that's our only sports that we have here at the college. Uh, we have limited student housing. So we have a 42 bed dorm and 55 uh, family units. Uh, the family units are one, two, three, and four bedroom apartments. And I would suggest if people want to apply for housing that they, they get their applications in uh, right away. Uh, housing is tight here in our, in our area. So we do suggest people get their housing applications in right away. Uh, we do have a nine hole golf course, so students can take golf class or if they just want to get out and golf. Uh, we do have a nine hole executive level golf course, so, you know, just some fun things to do. Numerous clubs here on campus. Uh, we do have a health center here, so our students who aren't only tribal students from Salish or Kootenai, uh, they come from all over the country, uh, as well as non tribal students, uh, they can get health care. Uh, here at the college, see a, see a caregiver. And if things, if they need to see uh, someone outside of our clinic, our clinic can definitely refer students. Uh, we have disability services. So if students come and they, they uh, need some accommodations for a disability, our disabilities coordinator will work with them to, to help get those accommodations for their classes. Uh, you know, with the pandemic right now, there's a lot of stress on people and our students uh, are no different. And so we do have uh, uh, health services, mental health services for our students here on campus. So our tuition rate for if you're a tribal member of a federally recognized tribe, the tuition is $996 a quarter. And then with fees, it's just about $1,400. You know, if you want to apply to SKC, you can go to skc.edu and apply and or send me an uh, email at admissions at skc.edu. So we will end it there. Okay. Thank you so much. Next up, we have University of Montana Missoula College. Hi, thank you. Let me share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right, so hi, my name is Susie. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Missoula College. And I'm also just gonna share um, some photos just so you get a nice relaxing um, something to look at while I talk. But I'm gonna give you a tool when looking at schools. It's called SALSA and stands for Size, Academics, Location, Price, the second S is a, a dollar sign, and then activities. So for Missoula College, we'll start off with size. So size, it's about a thousand students. It's a small supportive community. And the student to faculty ratio is 13 to one. So you're gonna be part of the small um, classes. Like you're gonna know your professors, they're gonna know you as people, not just as students at Missoula College. That being said, you're also gonna be part of the larger University of Montana community. And we'll talk a little bit about that a little later on. Next thing that you should look at when you're looking at schools is academic. So we have over 140 academic programs. Um, we have programs in health, industrial, sciences, we have general programs, and then also culinary. And we are associate college, so those are associate two-year degrees. So you are going to get a great degree within two years, and then um, 
from there, you will be able to uh, go out into the workforce with a solid degree. That being said, you can actually take two courses on the U of M's campus um, for no additional cost. And that's really unique. If you find a course that you really enjoy that sounds unique, you can actually take it at U of M. The next thing you should look at is location. So we're located in Missoula, Montana. It's a great location at the base of five different mountain ranges. And so every way, everywhere you look, you're going to see beautiful mountains for hiking, skiing, biking, rock climbing, ice climbing. There's also classes offered at University of Montana in all of these, um, these activities. So you can actually earn credits in these activities towards graduation. Finally, the last thing, the last two things you should focus on is price. Here at Missoula College, it's actually $4,000 per semester. So our goal is to make education accessible. And there's a bunch of different scholarship opportunities that you can look into to help knock off that tuition and cost of attendance. Finally, you should look into activities. So here at University of Montana, Missoula College, it's unique because you're gonna be able to be involved in all of the University of Montana activities. So you can join clubs, you can live on campus at University of Montana, you can go to all the athletic games um, free. It's free for all students. So you can really get involved in the community and um, join some really fun clubs. I like to say there's a club for everyone. If there's not, just takes you and a couple of friends to start a club. So it's really unique experience. You get that small community feel within Missoula College, but you can also get that large school experience student life as well. If anyone has questions about um, student life or the admissions process, please reach out to me. I'll put my contact information in the chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Montana Technological University. All right, can you see my screen or is it still the presenter? We can uh, hit display settings and swap. Yep, there you okay. go. Thank you. All right, so I'm Emily. I'm going to be representing Montana Technological University as well as our Highlands Co College. Um, so why is Montana Tech an investment for you? So let's first talk about our location. So we are in Butte, Montana right now. Um, and if you've never been, I would always suggest visiting your um, universities that you're interested in. Um, Butte is especially unique in itself. We are a historic um, district. We are actually the largest in the entire United States. Um, and you'll see these retired head frames from the historic mining that went on. Um, you can visit the Berkeley pit, take a trolley tour around the city. Um, there's a lot of cool things to learn about here. Um, we're also a festival town. So this retired head frame was actually turned into um, a stage for our folk festival. Um, and there's a bunch of other um, performances that happen. Um, St. Patrick's Day is huge here from all of the Irish immigration. Um, being in Montana, we're a great location as it is. Butte especially is South Central, so we have endless mountain ranges, national parks, rivers, ski resorts, hot springs, endless hiking and biking trails. And we also have a really cool um, mountain bike skills course that starts in the back of our campus and goes up to Big Butte, the mountain right off of our campus. So here at Montana Tech, you get a great return on your investment on your education. Um, all of these statistics play a big, huge, a big role in this. So we are actually number one best value college in Montana and number one college for the highest paying graduates. Um, the average starting salary for our graduates is around 60K a year. Um, and then we are also number six STEM university in the entire United States. Um, you want to look at placement rates when you are 
um, doing your college searches. We have 100% placement rate into grad school, and we have a 95% placement rate into jobs. Going on with our size, so we are a 14 to 1 student faculty ratio, so you will never have to worry about walking into a huge lecture hall of over 100, 200 students. So this means your professors are going to know your name, they're going to know your aspirations, what you want to do with your life. Um, this creates more personal hands on experiential learning. Um, experience and you just have more opportunities to do research projects and overall advice. On campus, um, we don't have uh, frats or sororities, so we make up for it in um, balancing out some campus events, clubs, organizations, that kind of thing. Um, so one of the most popular things here on campus are our bed races, the picture shown. Um, each department builds a bed, they race it down the big hill you drive up to get to our campus. Super terrifying to watch, but it's super fun. Um, we have a lot of pop-up events during the year. This could be fear factor challenges, Build-A-Bear workshops in the courtyard, um, food trucks, anything like that. M days are ran by our student government. Um, days leading up to finals, and we have a plethora of clubs and organizations that um, will get you connected with the community, and we are NAIA Sports Division I. Um, and then also going on to our Highlands College. So this is part of Montana Tech. It's located about 10 minutes away from our main campus. Um, you can get a trade here, anything technical, and you can also get your Associates of Science. So if you're interested in automotive technology, civil engineering technology, construction technology, carpentry, metals fabrication, our pre-apprentice linemanship is very popular. So if you're interested in joining um, and you're a senior, I would say apply now. Um, web development and administration. Welding is another one that gets um, filled and is very popular and workforce development. So some exciting highlights um, to wrap it up a bit. So we just got a $7 million donation to our nursing program. Um, this is going to um, our nursing simulation that is opening in 2022. Um, we also are very excited for our nursing scholars edge program. So for any Montana students, um, high achieving Montana high school students, 10 students will be selected for direct admission to the clinical portion of the Montana Tech nursing program. Um, for this, um, this will be based on achieving a high school GPA of 3.8 and an ACT composite score of 25. So if you're a nursing student out there, um, be on the lookout for that. 10 students will be automatically selected. Um, for this. And then um, we have Tech Day coming up. This is the second Tech Day for fall Tech Days. Um, it's November 19th. Um, you get a tour, an academic fair, there's hands-on breakouts, you get to see our high-tech labs, um, take student-led tours, and get free lunch. So this is from 9.30 a.m. Um, to 3 o'clock p.m. Um, also, we do do campus tours, virtual and in person. Um, if you do come in person, we'll pay for a free one night uh, hotel stay. And last thing is our net price calculator. Um, so if you want to see um, your overall pay and um, what scholarships you apply for, um, go on to our website and you can check that out. Thank you so much. Next up, we have University of Montana Western. All right, hello everyone. My name is Chrissy Stokes with the University of Montana Western. Montana Western is located in the southwestern corner of the state in Dillon. Uh, our campus is just minutes away from outdoor activities like hiking, biking, hunting, fishing, skiing, and snowboarding. And we also have a lot of clubs, club sports, and collegiate sports for our students to um, stay busy during the school year. So Montana Western is the only four-year public institution in the nation that runs on a block schedule called Experience One, and this is how that program works. So our students take four classes each semester, but they focus on each class one at a time. So they take one class for three and a half weeks or 18 school days, and they're only in class for three hours a day. At the end of their course, students take a final, then they get a four-day weekend before they start a brand new class. 
So our students are able to get 16 credits a semester because each of our block classes are four credits a piece. So if students stick to that schedule, they will stay on track to graduate within four years. This program really is as simple as it gets. So our students do just focus on that one subject. They're working with one professor throughout the entire class and they only have one final, which I think is the best thing about it. So um, you really do get to know your professor. You are actually learning from full professors on campus. We do not have TAs for our classes. And we do cap our classes at 25, average class size is 15. So you're also gonna get to know the other students in your class really well. So this is what um, a regular schedule can look like for our students. Our morning class runs from 8.15 to 11.15. Afternoon class runs from 12.15 to 3.15. That means the rest of the day is your own to do whatever you might need to do, whether that's studying for a class, um, having a part-time job, participating in things on campus, or even just taking a nap. You can actually enjoy your free time while getting a phenomenal education. We do have a lot of flexibility with this schedule. So um, if something were to happen during one of these block classes and students need to take a step back from campus, they can drop that class and pick it up at a later time. And it won't mess with their uh, full-time status because our students only have to take 12 credits each semester in order to be considered full-time. So that means um, if something were to happen where they have to uh, drop one of those classes, they, um, it won't mess with financial aid or scholarships or anything like that. Here's our list of academic departments on campus. If you would like to see a full list of all of our available programs, um, you can visit uh, umwestern.edu and see that full list, or I'd be happy to answer any questions about the academic departments. Um, here are just some pictures from some of our actual classes, and this is a very normal thing for our students to experience while they're in class. We want to get them out of the classroom as much as we can so they can focus on their hands-on learning. And we don't just stick to the Dillon community either. Um, we do offer study abroad programs on campus, so our students can go and study for, in another country. But instead of going for a full semester, they are just gone for three and a half weeks. So you go with Montana Western students and, other, and Montana Western professors, so everything is ran directly through us. So like I said, we want to educate the entire person and we want our students to actually experience their, their education so that when they graduate, they'll actually have two to three years of experience under their belt. Here's our application process. It's pretty simple and we will work with you every step of the way. Um, so we just have you apply. You do not have to pay an application fee at all. Then we just need your current high school transcript and a copy of your immunization records with proof of two doses of the MMR for us to make a decision on your application. We are test optional, so you do not have to send in your test scores unless you would like to. Here's our list of our four year requirements. Um, I'm not gonna go through these too much, but if you do have any questions about them, I'd be happy to answer them for you. And here's our cost breakdown. Um, so we are the most affordable four-year school in the state. Our tuition is about just over 4,500 a year. Um, with tuition fees and room and board, it's just over 13,000 a year. But we have a lot of ways to help students uh, bring that cost down. So we have internal scholarships, university scholarships available. The only scholarships that are not gonna be covered under this app general application are going to be athletic scholarships. Those are all through the coaches. Our general scholarship application is going to open up November 1st. We just ask that you fill out one online scholarship application um, by that deadline, or by the January 15th deadline to be considered for all of our scholarships. The largest scholarship we give out is the Chancellor's Leadership Scholarship, which is offered to up to five um, Montana students each year. It is a renewable full tuition waiver. Um, we look for a 3.6 cumulative GPA or higher, also a 26 on the ACT or a 1260 on the SAT. So for this particular scholarship, if you would like to be considered, we are going to need those official test scores. We are open and available for campus visits. Um, if you are not able to make it to campus, we'd be happy to set up a virtual visit with you so you can get some more information about um, the campus itself, the programs that we offer and everything that, um, any other questions you might have. Our campus preview day is XA, which is going to be this spring. It's going to be Friday, March 18th. We will be sharing more information about that. So that information will be coming to you soon. If you have any questions at all, I would be more than happy to answer them for you. Here is my contact information. I will also share it in the chat. Um, so, and then 
Of course, if you are not able to get a hold of me as I am still out on the road for recruitment, you can always contact our admissions office and I'll share that information as well. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Next up, we have University of Montana. Hello, everyone. Um, I first just want to apologize for the technical difficulties that I'm having. Um, unfortunately, I have to be on my phone and not my computer, so I can't share my presentation, but I can switch my camera so that it can be seen. So I am so sorry for this inconvenience. I don't know if everyone can see this or not, and I'm so sorry. Yep, we can see your computer. Okay, perfect. Um, so the University of Montana, um, so here what you're seeing is going to be the Oval. Um, this is kind of a main hub for our students to be at. So in the spring and summer and fall, you're gonna see students slacklining, um, playing Frisbee. There's gonna be lots of dogs. It's a very active part of campus. In the winter, we can actually transform one of our quadrants into um, an ice skating rink. So there's really events that go on all year round for our students to participate in. Um, so life in Missoula, um, we are the second largest city. So we've got a population just over 70,000. Um, we've got a great downtown area that's about a 10 minute walk from campus. So students can enjoy local shops, restaurants, uh, food trucks, live music, concerts, anything they're interested in. Um, we also have lots of cultural events um, and lots of outdoor recreation. So for anyone that's interested in hiking, biking, fishing, skiing, and snowboarding, we have all of that in our area. Um, our numbers, we've got about 8,500 undergraduate students, about 10,000 total, including our graduate programs. We're going to have over 170 academic pathways. So that's going to include majors, minors, and certificates. More than 70% of our classes are going to have 30 students or less with a 13 to one student to faculty ratio. So you're gonna be able to get to know your professors and your peers and really be able to make those personal connections um, during your education. So our academics, we have six main colleges on our campus. Um, we're gonna have anything from the health sciences, education, business, forestry, arts, um, lots and lots of different options for students. We also have the only fully accredited law school here in Montana. One thing that we really focus on is getting our students hands-on experience before they get a career or before they decide to pursue an advanced degree. So students can do this by participating in research or internships. So these can be done on campus, in the Missoula area, locally in Montana, nationally and internationally. Um, so we do offer study abroad. We have over 250 partner universities in over 50 countries. So students can study anywhere that they are interested in for three weeks, a semester, or an academic year. Our admissions requirements are pretty simple. We ask that students meet one of two, um, either have above a 2.5 cumulative unweighted high school GPA or be in the top half of their graduating class. Um, we aren't requiring um, test scores uh, for this semester or those coming up. Um, we are permanently um, test optional. We do, however, recommend that you submit those test scores if you did take them for additional scholarship opportunities. Um, we're on rolling admission, so we technically have no deadline um, for any of our semesters, and our, S and our admissions application doesn't require any essays or letters of recommendation. Um, so here you're going to see the cost of attendance. Um, it's going to be um, a little over 7700 um, for an academic year. What's important to note about that cost is that that doesn't include any scholarships or any financial aid. So some scholarship opportunities that we have are our incoming student scholarships. These are automatic, um, meaning that once a student submits their application, when they self-report their GPA, we can determine what they're automatically awarded. Um, these are renewable for up to four years, and they can also apply for scholarships within our scholarship portal. Um, these are going to be our donor-based scholarships, so some are merit-based, financial need-based, or based on major. And these can be stacked on top of those automatic scholarships, so that number can get significantly lower. We also have the, our DHC, 
leadership scholarships. So students are eligible to be considered for these as long as they apply for the Davidson Honors College before the first Friday in December. Um, so here you can see that scholarship matrix. Um, for students that have above a 3.0, they can kind of see what category they fit into um, to best determine what award amount they'd be eligible for. Um, we also are on rolling FAFSA, so students can submit a FAFSA at any point they decide to attend, um, but we do have a priority deadline of December 1st. For student clubs and groups, we've got over 200 on campus. Um, we have groups that are based on major, some are volunteer based, we have fraternity and sorority involvement, and intramural sports. Um, for students, um, if they don't find something they're interested in, they actually have the opportunity to create their own group. Um, we have groups for anything and everything that students are interested in. Um, for athletics, we are a D1 school, so we have everything from football, basketball, tennis, volleyball, track and field. Um, if students like to watch sports, we definitely have it. Um, if students aren't quite into the sports scene, that's okay. Um, they'll notice that when people are at sporting events, their favorite restaurants, shops, theaters, all different kinds of things like that will be a little bit quieter. And then this is my contact information. Um, so if you have any questions about any of the information, um, you can give me a phone call or you can send me an email and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you so much. At this time, I'd like to invite all of our panelists to join me back on camera and unmute themselves. Um, we have time for our round robin questions. Um, we'll start in the order of which you all uh, presented. So starting with Flathead Valley Community College, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Um, it's my advice for someone going through this process is to, you know, find the things that I think are really important, write them down, and then um, match that to the institutions you're looking at. Um, be the best option for you and it'll lead you to the best education. Delish Kootenai College. Well, I think uh, take inventory of what you like to do. What's your passion? What do you enjoy? And tie that to your education and something you can do, you know, for your, in, in your lifetime. And then, you know, search the college and, you know, we want you to get in, get your degree and, get out and join the workforce but you know think about something you you like doing and try and try and find a school that has has your interest. Missoula College. Um, my advice would be find a school where all the faculty everyone at the school wants to see you succeed and they're going to be on your team to help you succeed so that's my advice. Montana Technological University. I think communication is key. Um, us all being admissions reps, we want you to contact us. We want you to ask questions. Um, I would also say visiting the colleges, getting the feel for the environment, the community, the city, because um, you're investing your time and your money. Um, so you really need to feel comfortable um, and just communication is key. <laughs> University of Montana Western. I would say um, make sure that you're making the best decision for you. I know that a lot of people are going to have a say on what they want you to do, um, or maybe your friends are going to want you to go to school with them, or your parents are going to have a say, but you have to make the right choice for you because it is a big investment that you're making, um, and so you want to make sure that you are choosing the best thing um, that's not going to um, change your mind after uh, about a semester or a year or something like that. University of Montana. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think everyone's summed it up pretty well already. Um, definitely, you know, um, choosing um, the right fit for you is really important. Um, and being able and willing to kind of reach out to anybody, um, you know, high school counselors, admissions counselors, um, friends, parents, anything like that. Everybody wants to help you um, kind of make this big decision. Um, so, you know, being able to kind of get that advice and that assistance through any of kind of narrowing down the college search um, can help students a lot and be kind of comforting. So our next question, and we'll start again with Flathead Valley Community College. What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? So we serve students from all walks of life, traditional, non-traditional, uh, single parents, uh, retrains. We, we do it all here at our campus and it leads to really diverse educational experience 
and something that I re certainly appreciated about going here. Um, and I think there's a lot of value in that when picking an institution. There was Kootenai College. Uh, well, I think I want people to remember uh, that we are open to anyone. It's, you don't have to just be Salish Kootenai uh, tribal people. You can be you know, from Mars. And if you want to get an education, you're more than welcome to come here. And, you know, we might charge you a little extra, but if you're from Mars, but, you know, we, we want you to know that we're here to support our students and want you to be successful. Missoula College. Um, the one thing is that I would want everyone to know is that education through Missoula College is accessible and that you would have help when you came here um, and you would get a great degree great hands-on experience and we ready to join the workforce. Montana Technological University. I think one thing I would want you to remember is um, just the support. Um, joining Montana Tech, you're joining a team. Faculty really care about you um, and they've gotten the experience that they just want to pass on to students. So join our team. <laughs> University of Montana Western. Um, I would say that um, I want students to remember that Montana Western is probably one of the most welcoming places I've ever been. Um, I grew up in a very, very small town, uh, Valier, Montana, only about 400 people there. And I did not want to lose those connections that I had and go to a giant university. And so Montana Western was a great fit for me. Um, it worked really well because I got to know my professors really well. And I, I still actually stay in contact with them. Um, which is how a lot of our students feel, um, all of our students feel, they're able to make those great connections. University of Montana. Yeah, I would definitely want people to um, remember that we have all of the capabilities of a large institution, um, those top tier research programs, internships abroad, anywhere that students are interested in. Um, access to hundreds of courses that they maybe wouldn't be able to get elsewhere. Um, but we have the small size school feel. Um, so, you know, being able to meet friends in your major, in your residence hall, um, being able to make those personal relationships with your professors and faculty mentors that will write your letters of recommendation and help you get internships is really important. I want to thank our wonderful uh, presenters today for your insights, your information on your institutions, and thank you all for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five-question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. You'll be able, you'll be avail uh, able, excuse me, you'll be able to find the sessions recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com/backslash Montana Virtual. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you.